hey everyone welcome to another video so we're going to do a quick non-scientific test between these two cars so this is a 2022 model 3 base with heat pump and that is a 2020 long range without heat pump so it has the ptc heater and these cars have been sitting here overnight in negative temperatures it was approximately negative 11 degrees celsius overnight uh currently it's not too bad it's negative six but they were never preheated. So we would like to see which car actually gets to optimal cabin temperature first. So we're going to pick, uh, I'm guessing 21 degrees Celsius and we're going to run this test and let's find out the results. So here we have both of these ready to go on two different phones. Uh, set to 21 degrees celsius both of them have a little bit different readings of interior and exterior temperatures but that's okay so we're going to start our timer so let's start the timer our timer's going and let's try to click on at the same time oh close enough One of them has a heated steering wheel, the other one doesn't. Um, maybe let's turn the heated steering wheel off. So it's a fair comparison and maybe turn on the heated seats on both. So it's a bit of a fair comparison. Both of them are ramping up. Interestingly, I always find heat pump louder than PTC for some reason. I don't know why. There's barely any sound on PTC. So we just passed the five minute mark and our long range is at 19 our base model with heat pump is at 14 degrees celsius so our long range is at 21 degrees celsius first and our base model with heat pump is still at 18 and we are currently at seven minute mark so that is very impressive actually so let's see how long it takes our car with heat pump to match the long range so our car with heat pump just hit 21 degrees celsius and we are currently at nine minute mark and so this car has been sitting at 21 uh, since seven minutes so it takes an additional two minutes on the car with heat pump to reach the same cabin temperature interesting at least in this particular case so in this test we are going to simulate a daily commute uh, so we're going to drive 15 minutes one way and 15 minutes back total of 30 minutes in a loop style test so any elevation gain or loss will hopefully cancel each other out so we're currently in the 2020 long range model 3 with the ptc heater so let's begin our test first of all i would like to go under the trips and make sure our test uh, is reset so it's currently reset and we will uh, calculate the distance driven total amount of energy consumed and are obviously what hours per kilometer so let's go so I just completed my first drive in our long range model 3 with PTC heater and it was funny because I had no region pretty much for half of my drive and or on my way back i had a little bit of regen so let's see we told we drove total of 31 kilometers using six kilowatt hours averaging 202 watt hours per kilometer so looking at these numbers uh given this is a 2020 model and it came with approximately 75 kilowatt hour pack um so it would uh, on an average give us approximately 388 kilometers on a full charge and about 310 kilometers with 80 percent state of charge so that's pretty good let's quickly switch over to our other car with heat pump which is a base model 3 and let's see what we see on that one so I just finished my second drive in our LFP Model 3 rear wheel drive with the heat pump and we drove the same amount of distance at 31 kilometers and surprisingly used more energy at seven kilowatt hours and with average of 226 watt hours per kilometers, which is surprising because 
the heat pump car is actually supposed to be more efficient so i don't know what's going on so this car has approximately a 60 kilowatt hour pack which will if you do the math will give you approximately 265 kilometers of range with a full charge which is actually a plus point because you can actually charge this car 200 percent all the time without having to worry about any degradation so this was pretty interesting so uh let's go to our third test which you don't want to miss out it is actually something very important and so make sure you stay tuned you don't want to miss it out let's go hey everyone fast forward to a few days later you can obviously tell we got some snow i'm currently sitting in the 2020 long range model 3 both cars currently at 50 percent state of charge uh it's approximately one degree celsius outside i'm sure it's going to be negative overnight and we are running a quick scenario here let's say you are on a road trip and the highway shuts down and you need you need to stay in the car for let's say 12 hours you obviously need to stay warm overnight and we, that's why we're setting the temperature at 21 degrees celsius turning the camp mode on which i've already turned on on this car and uh quick note about camp mode it automatically turns off at 20 percent state of charge so i'm sure the cars will actually make it through the night i have no questions about that i just want to know what percentage both cars will be at after 12 hours so let's quickly jump into our other car and turn on cam mode and let's go from there okay now we're in our 2022 model 3 uh, rear wheel drive with the heat pump i don't know why the car thinks it's negative 10 degrees celsius maybe because it's sitting on a pile of snow but let's quickly turn on our camp mode so that should be good and that way car will turn the lights off we'll conserve every single bit of juice turn all the lights off even the rear ones so yeah so cars are 50 percent and we are going to run this test for whatever 12 to 13 hours i'm going to leave these cars overnight with camp mode on in the morning i want to know what the percentage is at and how much consumption we'll figure that out how to do that but i just want to know which car will consume the least amount of energy good morning it's been a little over 13 hours and our car with heat pump our rear wheel drive 2022 model 3 is still going and our long range model 3 over there with the ptc heater turned off approximately two hours ago so it hit the 20 percent mark uh two hours ago so it approximately lasted 11 hours which is still very impressive so let's quickly get in one of these cars so yeah as you can see this one's at 24 percent so this is actually very impressive uh, even though this is a smaller battery pack, it lasted longer and there's some change left. So obviously this one will last you way past 12 hours in such scenario. Even that one's very impressive because it lasted 11 hours and you still have 20% battery if you need to reach your supercharger. Obviously there are multiple factors in this. It's not a scientific test. Uh, you know, if your supercharger is more than 20% away, then yeah, you are kind of screwed. <laughs> but uh, if it is closer than 20%, then you'll obviously make it. And uh, we, I just wanted to see if heat pump is in fact more efficient. Uh, because in our uh, driving test, for some reason, this one consumed more energy. Maybe it needs, uh, that initially it needs more time uh to be efficient so obviously it needed to heat up the battery and heat up the motors and everything and the cabin so it, it used more energy but i maybe if we gave it enough time and if we had a long enough test maybe heat pump would still come on top so uh i hope you guys enjoyed this non-scientific test uh i'll see you in the next one see ya